Hello. So uh, today I'm going to go through how I like to configure NX. Uh, if you don't know what NX is, it's Siemens uh, CAD software, parametric modeling. It has a lot of awesome features. It's uh, similar to Autodesk Inventor, similar to uh, SolidWorks. So it's, uh, it's a really nice 3D modeling application. It does assemblies, it does constraints. And I'm just going to go through really quick how I like to use NX. Okay, so the first thing I like to do when I get into a new NX environment um, on a machine that I don't have my configuration set up on is I put it on full screen mode. Now, Normally when I'm working in CAD, I do it with two monitors, one on the left and one on the right. So that's why it's going to be kind of a little cramped on a single screen when I show it here. So to put it in full screen mode, I'm going to hit Alt and Enter. What that does is it, it activates full screen mode. Now when you do this initially, you're going to have to activate the, uh, the selection bar, because the selection bar isn't going to show up by default. The other thing you're going to notice is that it's going to look something like this. Okay? You're going to have your toolbar down here at the bottom. Basically what this does is it takes each of your normal toolbars and places them on an independent tab that you can go through. I find that this helps me when I'm using the program because I know what feature or what tool I'm trying to use. So I know what toolbar to go to. So if I'm going to do an extrude, I come over to the featured toolbar. If I want to do um, like an exploded view, I go to the exploded view toolbar. If I want to work on uh, assembly options or set up constraints, I go to the assemblies toolbar. It just helps you logically remember where things are. Uh, the next thing I do is typically I'll activate the multi-window mode. So I activate that by clicking on multi-window mode and I will activate these uh, these panes. Now the first pane that I activate is the assembly navigator. Typically I'll have this thing extended out quite a bit because I'll configure in a whole bunch of different columns for material types and other properties of a part which are uh, nice to be able to see while you're in an assembly. The next thing I'll do is I activate the, uh, the feature uh, pane. Um, and the reason that I do that is so that I can, uh, 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 the part navigator, the reason I do that is so that I can see all the features that are in the part that I'm working on. And it's just very convenient. The other thing I bring up is the reuse library. Because typically I'm working on a machine which has a large uh, parts library that allows me to just drag and drop parts in and then constrain them into position. Now this isn't NX9 or 8.5 where they introduce the assembly navigator nor, or, or the uh, constraint navigator. Normally I'd show that but I can't right at the moment because this is a older version of NX. So this is typically the way I configure my NX. I hate the ribbon interface that they came out with so I always put it back on the standard toolbars and put it into the full screen mode, which seems more convenient for myself. Okay, well that's uh, that's my uh, my cool lesson on how I set up my toolbars.